Hello, this is Cody Grove at uh, TorgCon 2022. No, I never did. Actually a pretty decent game for no reason. I'm not a big Avatar guy in general. Tetris Evolutions, you ever play this one? No, I'm a I'm a shitty gamer. I've learned about myself. There's so many games I should have played. But I didn't. I feel like I'm mainly looking for 360 stuff. A few Wii Wii titles, but I feel like I only have the budget for 360 and Wii Wii games. Jericho, that's pretty good one. You ever play these? Or this one? Oh, I did play that. Jericho? I did play that, yeah. That's a decent one. I did play a lot of games during the 360 era, oh, mainly for achievements. I feel like this is the best time. Yeah. The best time for gaming Achievements up. moderately suck now. I feel like I played the arcade version of this. I never did. Hey, Casey. Some Blu-rays, Derek. I've Blue moved rays. on, Cody. You've I don't live in a physical age. And I've moved on even more so to 4K Blu-rays if I do buy them. There you go. Because the world has made me. I feel like I want to get these on 4K. Those would be good 4Kers for sure. You can see how shitty smog looks in 4K. Oh, these are nice. Box Dreamcast controllers. Oh shit. Dude. Yo, is this for sale? What, the five day rental? Probably. Is this for sale? And it's the right price. That's right. <laughs> I gotta ask them. <laughs> Got to make a deal. I guarantee it is. Because it wouldn't be out here, right? Yeah. Why would, there's, I doubt he's renting. Star Wars The Phantom Menace on PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, dude, 20 bucks. You can rent it for five. Is this for sale? Uh, yes. How much? 400. 400? That's it. Oh. It's a nice square. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. 400. That is sick. Just $400. You know what's making or me nervous, though? You can pick up Fortnite for $500. Oh, a sealed Fortnite. It'll be even cheaper. $400. That's expensive. That number shocked the shit out of me. I was like, I'll do it for 50. Yeah, I, I had 100 <laughs> in my head tops. Oh, shit. You ever play this? I've been meaning to check yeah, this out. It's good. I hear good stuff. I've been checked out of Assassin's Creed for so long. That's a good one to check right back in. That's a really good one uh, to check back in. I uh, told myself if I saw these at the convention, I would consider buying them, but 120 and 190. Is that worth considering? Uh, Splatterhouse 2. For 120? I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, 135, a metal storm. I also told myself I saw this. And that's like, I think $15. I was like, if I see it for 60. Ah. Not 75. What if you can, what if you can get me 60? Ah, I'm good. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to blow up my load all at once. <laughs> nah, it's true. It's, it's still early. <laughs> I think it's too early to ask those questions too. Hey man, you trying to go down your price immediately? Yeah. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. I don't know if I get to it. Grandma's Boy? Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's a, you can never escape Blu-rays, but do you see this? A little steel book? Oh, thing's pretty sexy. 10 bones. Uh, hey, uh, sorry. No, I was gonna go ahead. No, go ahead. I don't know what I was gonna do. Uh, Cody's here behind me. He said he, uh, Grandma Boy's one of his favorite movies ever. I hate yeah. that movie. The movie sucks. Oh, you don't? Yeah, no. 
Oh, I never have. No, I uh, never liked it. I was gonna have more to say about that, but I think there's funny parts. But I think overall, it's a bad movie. <laughs> Stupid fucking idiot and red shirted ass. You don't have it? I'm buying a Blu-ray at a video game convention. That is that's real degenerate of you. Can I get this? That's right. Yeah. Thanks, man. Um, Thank you. Find stuff in the background. So uh Oh yeah, it's yeah, I, even as an underrated movie, it's overrated. I've actually thought about rewatching this so I was like, maybe I just didn't give a chance. Everybody yeah. loves it. How much on the so yeah. rollers? Yeah, we'll both watch it together. Yeah. Dollar piece. Those are pretty. Adios, turd nuggets. These out. Oh, that's actually awesome as fuck. You see those? Yeah. Dude, look at this. Oh, it comes with money. A wallet. I was like, where did my wallet go? I'll do the two uh, controllers. Oh, that's sick, man. Yeah, oh, sealed. It's crazy. No one ever opened it. <laughs> Do you want some Oreos? There we go. Also still sealed. Oreos? Rare? <laughs> sealed? Delicious. <laughs> Probably still very good. That Telstar for 20 bucks is calling my name. Is it? Yeah. You ever play these? No. For this game? I spent way too many hours on this. <laughs> Is it the end of the world? Will humanity survive? Which monster will prevail? Stay tuned for more at 11. This is uh, probably my favorite PS2 game. Oh, I didn't show you the, the thing I was going to buy. Oh, check this out, buddy. All right, all right, oh, believe me, I already looked. Yeah, fucking put that on my car. That's sick. Woo! I've got a bad feeling about this. Where this program is starting here tonight. But have you ever seen Laura Croft in a wetsuit? I have now. That is sick. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. It was just as weird when I flipped out. <laughs> That's awesome. Kind of hot, kind of awesome. Kind of yeah. everything. For sure. My favorite is uh, the memory cards with her on it. The memory cards with her on it? I don't remember that. Oh, it's a PS1 uh, memory card. The top half of the memory card was her, uh, uh, her and her chest, man. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, they planned that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Laura, you dirty, dirty adventurer. Come on. Dude, this is cool. You ever play the Turok games? I love Turok, yeah. I don't think there was a bad one. I know people shit on the 361, but I've liked all of them. There was one on PlayStation 2. Uh, I used to listen to the Trapped first, the band Trapped that sang Headstrong. Oh, yeah. I used to listen to that CD on repeat and play Turok on PlayStation 2. Take you on! Do you know the sizes? Yeah, uh, there are a lot of kids' sizes up here. Oh, okay, so it's kids. <laughs> that was that, that was so depressing to hold up. Yeah. Uh, Dude, that would fit, right? A little crop top? <laughs> crop top, a little fitted, you know. Yeah. This is a great game. It's a slave, never even heard of it. My uh, my hoarding collector is uh, uh, the variation, the Walmart. It's the Walmart variation. Oh, it's a scratch up though. Yeah. 12 bucks is too much for just a little thing that says Walmart. I played the shit out of this game, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. Is I'm pretty good? sure it's a free thousand achievements. Deadliest catch in Alaskan store. Is it good? No. It was you just did it for the A thousand. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a terrible game. You know I met him once, the I forget his name. I went for somebody else. Yeah. Went and to Alaska met and I met the the main guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was an asshole. That Complete didn't surprise asshole. me at all. I was like, uh, hey, man, can you sign this for me? It was my friend's mom was a big fan of, of the show. And he's like, man, I got I to gotta catch a flight, man. Come on. Come on. Let me see. Let me see. You put your name on something? And, Jesus. Uh, yeah. So, you know, check, hey, dude, check out that guy's cosplay. He's <laughs> like a cop or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to feel about graded games. About what? Graded games. Well, that one's only two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. That's uh. But one sold the other day for six hundred ninety. That's wild, dude. And the thing is, these are sealed, so they'll never be taken out. They're just like a gold. It's an investment. What if I bought it right now and I just open it in front of them? 
What do you think he would actually do? I would love to be a billionaire just to do that yeah. shit. Oh, this looks sweet. <laughs> See these guys cosplay? Oh, uh, just... This is the perfect time to collect 360. How much are the Burger King games? Everything down there is $2.00. Oh, okay. There you go. I might have to get the Burger King games then. I think that should be all three sealed. Oh, sick. Oh, dude, yeah. All right. That feels like a no-brainer. Awesome. Pretty sure mine got, like, oh, man, that's pretty... Is it good or bad? minty, yeah. Is it? That might be a maybe. This is such a good deal. We have a uh, Jane's Advanced Strike Fighters. Who's Jane? Uh, that has a uh, anime game written all over it. Jane has her entire armada of fighter jets. Ooh, never mind. That's a rough one. These loose action figures are calling my name. Primal Rage. You guys ever play this? No. Uh, yeah. It's been a good time. What do you guys say to the people, Bazooka? Talking to the mic. Come out the door. It's a good time. You having a good time? I just got here. So. You gonna have a good time? Yeah. Anytime. Look at this Michael Jordan that looks just like him. Look at this Miles Garrett. <laughs> That's a funny. Basically, it's a top five situation. Top score gets a prize from here. I'm gonna absolutely demolish it. But the top five, so apparently in all the competitive things, there's an overall score, and the overall highest winner gets a prize as well. What game is it? Guitar Hero 1 on PlayStation 2. Look at your, you have a lot of competition. Do you have a lot of wrestling action figures? Uh, I did, I had some, not a ton. I had a cousin who had a lot. Did you, uh, you ever hear of his nickname? It says Kurt Angle, but they called him Perk Angle because he was so addicted to Percocets. Is, is he the, uh, the Olympian? Yeah, yeah, he won a, uh, well, I guess, he broke his neck. It was like, uh, not the final wrestling match, but the one prior. He uh, wrestled it with a broken neck. Now you see why he's addicted to Percocets. Or he was. Yeah. <laughs> Either he's actually, well, I know he's actually an Olympic winner, but did he actually break his neck? A uh, little bone, little bone in his neck. Yeah, I don't think it was like a, it wasn't a, yeah. <laughs> a little Undertaker action. Damn, look at his waist. Dude, that's the dream, guys. The waist to ass ratio, that's what all women look for. <laughs> Coolest finds I ever had at a flea market. Yeah. Is this was in a bunch of um, of uh, board games. Yeah. And I paid five bucks for it. And they went $320. Holy shit. I, Did uh, you sell yours? I or sold it to buy the PS4 at launch. Now the PS4 is nothing. And now you this is- that for 20 bucks. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Biggest regret selling that. But That's I, your biggest regret? No, no. What's no. your actual biggest regret? Uh in selling. Selling? That. Actually, yeah. Oh, it is that okay. problem? Yeah, easy. How are you feeling, Derek? Feel pretty good. I set a pretty decent score at two at two hundred and forty three thousand and I picked a different song and I beat that for two hundred forty six thousand. Who is that? So you're in first place. Yeah, by about a hundred thousand right now. New high score! What does high score mean? New high score, is that bad? What does that mean? I'm gonna keep periodically checking. I think, I get, I think I'm gonna win though. That was a great Tour Gaming Expo 2022. Uh, what, did you, what did you get, Bazooka? This is the pickup portion. Oh, I uh, got a Bugs Life and Body Harvest, N64, CIB, and the Xbox One kiosk. He won this in a, 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 a giveaway. Um, Bazooka, is it is it true that uh, Torg 2021 was so crazy that it led to uh, you getting a divorce? Yeah. So that's the highlight of it. So crazy last year you got a divorce. Yeah. Your wife left you because of Torg 2021. Is that true? That was pretty much the majority of it. That's awesome. <laughs> so we just got back from uh, Corkscon.
Torgs. Yeah, Torgs. Like, Torgcon. Did not go to Korg. Torgcon. Corkscon is the the spring gaming convention. What do you think, Derek? Uh, it was fun. Uh, I'm learning more and more that retro um, isn't where I belong. But I was excited for you guys to find a bunch of stuff. And uh, but I, I mean, I had a good time hanging out. The Guitar Hero tournament was sweet. I lost, by the way. Big update. <laughs> Some asshole brought. If you actually see this somehow, guy, you're not an asshole. Uh, brought his own guitar. Uh, but you are an asshole also. Um, and dominated my score by, what, I have 290 and he got 360, 70,000 uh, points. So he won. So second place for me. But so other than that, I had a really good time. Still pretty. Why is, why is Retro not for you? Well, I just like collect, like buying shit there. You know what I mean? Like I just, yeah. like it's fun to go, go, go see it, but I'm just not going to, I'm just learning I'm not going to buy anything ever. Well, especially if you saw those prices. They were crazy. Yeah, it's more than eBay on most most of the shit I was seeing, which I don't know. Kind of, I always think when you go to those places, it's cheaper than eBay. That's that's should be the goal. If you're trying to sell stuff, yeah. right? Yeah, that makes sense. Well, speaking of selling things, what'd you get? I uh, bought a few things. I, th- I think even though I'm complaining about prices, I still walked with a big stack of games. I uh, this entire stack for fifteen dollars. That's a good deal. Yeah, it's a Attack of the Movies 3D. It did not come with the 3D glasses. Wasted money. Uh, one of the greatest video games of all time, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Uh, Titanfall 2 on the Xbox One. And then Sealed, Pocket Pocket Bike Racer, Big Bumpin', Sneak King, all Sealed. Those are the Burger King games. You ever play those? Oh yeah, I had all of them. Did you get all the achievements? Yes. No. I don't think I had Bucket Bike Racer actually. No, I I didn't have Big Bumpin'. Big Bumpin'. I had uh, Sneak King for sure. Also, this one just to ruin your night a little bit. Oh shit! Is opened. Um, get it graded. It's gonna be tough. Two worlds, two, two worlds, one. Four so worlds. I, these might be doubles for me on some of them, but you had to buy three to get the deal. Yep. Three for five, right? So, yeah, and then uh, Odd World, Munch's Odyssey, which I, I know I most definitely have that already. I think I have most of the Burger King games, too. <clears throat> so that whole stack for 15 bucks. Dirt 2 for $5. You ever play the Dirt series? I have Dirt Rally, which is in the family, but it's I don't think it's a... Well, it's, it's definitely a direct descendant. So I've played Dirt Rally with um, a wheel and a VR. You ever watched the Porky's movies? I haven't, actually. So have you ever played Porky's the video game? The 1983 nope. hit of the 1981 movie? <laughs> On an Atari? Yes, Atari. Nope. Big fan of the first movie. So, you know, i got to play it in video game form. I'm sure it's abysmal. I cannot imagine how any any world that a Porky's game on the Atari would be anywhere near good. But it's based on the 1981 hit, Porky's, by 20th Century Fox. Uh, yeah, I, that sounds awful. <laughs> the label's fucked up on it, and it's got a Hollywood video stamp in the back of it. But I've been wanting Star Fox 64, picked up for 10 bucks. I think it's less than Reproductions. So a little sticker replacement on there. Oh, it's oh, it's like engraved. The Hollywood yeah. thing is. It's is it, like is a, that good for you? Yeah, that's I fucking that's, that's cool. A, that's a, that's yeah, it's a, okay. A lot of kids. It's a it. selling point. Yeah, kind of makes me sad though. They took the sticker off. That's what ripped the front sticker. Uh. Yep. Uh, then on uh, I can't get away from Blu-rays. I think this is a Blu-ray. Wow, he yeah, didn't even Blu-ray. check. Oh, that would have been funny. Uh, Steelbook, Resident Evil. Degeneration. Degeneration X. Oh, X? No, no, I just oh. had that's a... Wrestling thing. Little fucking cute Xbox keychains. Xbox One. Xbox 360. Little baby controllers. A dollar a piece. And then probably my favorite thing is I've always wanted one of these. These little... Uh, um, uh, pocket stations. It's 
little gimmicky PlayStation little handheld. Big in Japan. What does it do? Barely anything. Cool. It's a uh, you know you just put it on a shelf and collects dust and you never use it and just like all the other items you bought. Yeah, yeah. I will <laughs> probably not play any of these now. Nah. And then uh, people come over and they go, "Oh, that's cool." And I go, "Yeah, thanks, man." And then that's as far as conversation <laughs> yeah, it's, goes. It's called a pocket station. That's what you'll say. Yeah, and big in Japan. And someone will say, "Yeah, it's <laughs> huge in Japan." What's it do? Nothing. Just barely, barely anything. You gonna put a battery in it? Yeah. Cool. I'll try it out. So I spent sixty-five dollars. It's quite a bit of stuff because I, I think I spent. Fifty dollars, and I have three T-shirts. You just bought just T-shirts, right? Yep. I bought. You got it. Oh yeah, dude. I'm a professional. This fucking guy right here, from a, a local uh, crew, that I can't remember the name, but it's based off of a demon. So that's spooky, right? Fun. Torg Expo shirt for the wife. And then wait for it, a Torque Expo shirt for me. That's and probably my favorite art. And that's what I bought at Torque. That's sexy. Is that really all I got? That's all I bought. That's all you bought. That's all I need. That's all you need. You sure you don't want to buy old video games that you'll never play and just put on a shelf? I can say with pretty extreme confidence, <clears throat> I won't do that. Okay. But I'm glad you guys have a fun thing that you do. And I'm glad I get to go experience it with you. Fuck yeah. I love you. I love you too. Bye.